Think of the same actor. <laughs> Uh, pro- yeah, pro- no. <laughs> Rick, Rick Rickon's probably changed several actors throughout the time of Game of Thrones. We don't know, we haven't noticed. Right, guys, we just watched episode five of Game of Thrones. The midpoint. What? What an episode! What an ending, what should we say? What's an, an ending? ending? Well, this is, this just goes balls to the wall, straight to the end. It, this is now... Well, Jamie was right, in a way, was saying the last well, thing well, Hodor saw was well, the Hodor. Well, the thief of the Hodor of Hodor is hold the door. Which is the last thing he was saying other than the whole warging mindfuck that Bran does to him. What well, well, our is, theory, which is probably wrong, <laughs> is that because the Three-Eyed Raven, the guy in the tree, was killed yeah. whilst they were warging back in time. And we can, he's confirmed that's time travel now, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's that, time, that, that, that time travel. He was Because it wasn't just seeing vision of the past. They were actually in the past and they had somehow... They, they, they managed to affect it in one way or another. So, I'm assuming, because the Three-Eyed Raven is the tree, essentially, he's like part of the, integral part of the tree. The tree grew into him, he said, or well, yeah, something. But, but he's like the integral part yeah. of it. He's inside it. So, he probably controls the time traveling bits. Or has the ability to control it of some kind. Because he can, because Bran, when, when he said, oh, it's, that's, that's enough for today, yeah. he cut it, didn't he? And he, yeah. he cut Bran out, so he must have some control. Bran has to go touch the tree himself to do it himself. Whereas when the Three Eyed Raven guy does it, he kind of like walks it and then allows Bran to piggyback? Or Probably, it seems some like. sort of piggyback method. So when he, because he was killed by the Ice King. Yeah, was it Night King he's called? Night King. Night King. Ice, Ice King, Night D- King. Uh, what, uh, Blue Darth Maul. <laughs> Blue Darth Maul. Um, so he, uh, that's what we yeah, think. Yeah, he, he, he like, gets... like, like floats off into this weird dust. Well, fog thing. He's, which he's been killed in the. He's yeah. been killed in the real world. So in the Matrix. Yeah. He just disappears. Um, or we should just go. He just flops down. He flops down. <laughs> um, you see the green Matrix. Why can come down? Yeah. And but while well, at that time, Bran... Mr. Anderson, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> and at the same time, Bran was controlling Hodor to get them out to the tree, which gets attacked by the zombies and everything. Because he because he wogged inside of. He's wogging into the tree. He's wogging into the but, past. And then in the past, he wogged into... But, but then he also wogged into Hodor in the present. But, yeah, but which was he going of... through Hodor in the past? Because he looked at him. Yeah. So he might have gone through Hodor in the past to, to get the to present. Hodor in the present. And when the old guy died, the old guy died, the link, the link that was strong enough to allow it severed which then fucked up Hodor, Willis's mind. And but it only happened thing... at a certain point, though. It might have took a while to break yeah. down. Because he, because they got out of the tree, they were running down that corridor on Leaf. She sacrificed herself by blowing herself up. Yeah. Um, so it was taking time for it to break down, this whole rea- this reality bubble. Yeah, and my mind probably couldn't take it at that point or something. Or... Willis was looking at Bran, so whether he saw him and his, his mind just could no longer take his mind was connected to the two, to both past and the future. Think about it then. That Sorry, past mean, and present. That would mean that Bran is the same way though. He's connected to the tree, yeah. to himself, but to Hodor. But Bran has the ability to because he was yeah, true, granted true, the warging ability. Which, true. So, well, anyway, Bran bo- broke Willis into Hodor, who says Hodor gives hold a door, shot him down. But yeah, um, so that that now Hodor we we assume is dead now in the zombie. Yeah, Hodor dead, Thummer dead, Summer dead, Leaf dead. Leaf who cares? Dead. Well, that's the thing. Like these, this, 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 this episode, episode five. five. Episode five. Shit goes down. Is it dead? No, episode five. It's episode five. It's episode five. Or six. It's five. No, no, this one. No, but in like the previous season, there was like always one episode where shit went down. Where shit went down. Yeah, yeah, there was down. always episode five. I have no idea. I can't remember. It's around the midpoint. Yeah, it's, it's around the... Because, like, the Red Wedding, that was midpoint, shit went down. What was it, last... Last season, season. fuck all went down. I'm sure there was, like, one. <laughs> <laughs> fuck all went down. No, no um, Was last season the Attack on the Wall? Was that the season before? My... No, that was the season before. Oh, well. Basically, shit's gone down, hasn't it? So, it's... Yeah. But, so, I didn't... So or was la- last season was last season the um, attack of the White Walkers? 
Yeah, maybe. You saw this, bro. You saw that, bro. Do you see that? Yeah, I saw yeah. that. Yeah. But that, there's a, this now opens up my theory, which is the <laughs> stupid theory, but awesome theory. It, it seems it, it's coming together quite nicely, actually, for your theory. It's brand within brand. We are watching... The Game of Thrones is brand from the future watching past events. And it has now been confirmed that past events can be You've altered changed. or changed so, or something done to ensure future events will happen. So Bran is... Bran of the future, the big buff Bran... <laughs> who has a leg back somehow. <laughs> no, yeah, he, yeah. Buff Bran is not disabled. Yeah, well, magic. Because he's not the light. I don't know. But... It was just it's such a cool end of, end of the season. Having Bran in the past, in present, and then all of a sudden you see on the hill another Bran. Future Bran. Future Bran with a beard. <laughs> with a beard, with a long hair. With a long hair. And then a dark coat on. And looking, looking like this. And then you just hit, see him wake up in the tree like that. Like that. And then he just zooms out the tree and the whole world is on fire. And then it just cuts. But it has that like really hand. eerie music. Like... <laughs> and it just goes... You don't hear the Game of Thrones music, you hear Doctor Who music. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, that's what happens. And it's just like, zooms out and it's all on fire. Because if it's all on fire, you think, well, the ice, White Walkers make things icy. Yeah. So, so why is it fire? Obviously they've not won it. At the so moment. there you think, are the dragons yeah. kick shit up? And it completely changes the whole thing. And then, season seven, seven, seven. is basically like the Terminator. Come with me if you want to live. Then the trailer is just this gets down. <laughs> when shoots like, I don't know, who's one of the bell ends? Like Joffrey in the face. Joffrey thought he was dead. No, he shoots through Ruth Bolton. Shoots through Bolton in the face. Oh, no, Ramsey, not Ruth. Ramsey, Ramsey, I know, so it happened. But like, um, it would be cool if Bran of the future <laughs> had, to, had to, is finding how to do it right. And maybe, 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 right. This is where the books and the TV show deviate. The books the is... The books are the main one, and the TV show is the brand from the book trying to recreate. Yes, that's what I mean. So the book is present... The book is the original real, timeline. Original timeline. And then the... Um, fit, not film, the TV, TV show, show is the is, second attempt. Third it's or looking or onto the original timeline, changing it slightly or trying to change it to create a new Which would author explain ending. why there's characters that are dead in the book but actually are alive, yeah, or vice versa. Because Bran of the future, or original timeline Bran, has changed stuff, so new timeline Bran, the new timeline is different, and for some reason made everyone slightly older than what they should have <laughs> <laughs> Look, a lot of shit happened, okay? <laughs> But that's no. But if he did that, that would mean that would be a brilliant way for them to have both parties, both book fan and TV show fan, actually be together in something. Yeah, it's because the same thing. It's a di alternate reality or alternate future of each one. So it would an ultimate timeline, sort of. It would mean by one timeline affecting the other timeline. It would mean the book is the superior one after all. But, but the book's always superior. Yeah, yeah that's that's you know. But that's that's we, we should move on because it's the, we did yeah. the episode review. But if that happens, I'm going to say it now. I called it. <laughs> all right. We'll watch back at this episode. Now. Yeah, called yeah, it right there. But it would be cool because it, it it is getting into the time. It's, it's time. Tra it's fucking time. Yeah, time travel. They've entered time travel into the whole game of things. I mean, I'm not too happy about it in the long run, but I don't give a it's shit. It's nice what they do with it. Yeah, because it's kind of. I thought it was going to be a bit like sort of um, what do you call it? What's the film? Deja Vu style. Don't know. Desert Washington. They have no, the thing that looks no, at things. No. And then they, he has a laser point out. No, no okay. I haven't seen it, sorry. Right, well, anyway, that's like a time machine sort of thing where it turns. It's like a, a ca advanced camera system, they say, that actually looks back on past events. It's actually a time machine. Right. It's really. It's that's weird. Bad. It's crap. But that um, sort of thing. Too, it didn't look too bad because this, like, this time travel looked like what. Uh, what will happen has already happened. It's just that you have gone back into time to make sure that it's happened. But it's not. It's not like you can't. It doesn't look like you can change the past. You can oh, only yeah. make, you can oh, only no, make no, the present no. what it will be. No. But no, 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 no. If it's that, that's not too bad. That's where the complications yeah. come in. Because while Bran, now Bran has seen that, that's planted the seed in his head. That he can go back and change events if he knows how events play out. But, as uh, Yoda says, um, <laughs> sometimes 
trying to prevent what will happen will make what will be. What would he say? It was something like that, wasn't it? By trying to, to prevent what will happen, you make it happen. It's yeah. something along those lines. Loads of people said loads of things. Like it's, that. It, it's same old, same old. Anyway, <laughs> it was in bloody Kung Fu Panda sound. <laughs> Whatever. But okay, moving on. Like that is the main chunk. The that, that's like the big cliffhanger ending, or not cliff, not cliffhanger ending of. Okay, shit, I've actually gone down. We've got a little bit like last episode with um, the burning down of the coal and everything, but this one was, I think, was a bit more okay. When we we are, we, we started the um the shit's going down train and it's not well, stopping at the moment. Okay, then. it's picking up speed. So we'll skip we'll skip to the Greyjoys because the, the they've got to get their shit together. Because well, the they've, got to make, they've got to make an impact this season. Yeah, sure. the Greyjoys are now split into like two camps. Camps. Oh, he's got that on his hand. I, I, and one's plan is to um, get the Nairies. Which is a sound plan. It's a, a sound, sound plan. plan. Yeah. She needs ships. She needs ships. They have ships. Well, um, well. Well, they will have. Well, they had ships. The ships are gone. There will be a other. thousand ships. Oh, <laughs> season ten. So <laughs> we've made fifty. My God. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're not, yeah, we like having to make them by hand, like Viking style, like carving them and stuff. And it's like, oh, uh, we have invented. <laughs> um, I don't know. But, but yeah, the power of this shit, that's just ridiculous amount for that. It's going to take them ages, let's yeah. be fair. So, what I can't work out is, did she take all the ships? She took the best ships, so they said. It looked, like, it looked like an entire fleet going. Which but, means that she has quite a lot of following. I mean, to be fair, from looking at how many people nicked the ships with her, and how many people stayed to, be ki- stayed to see the coronation of the new king, she could have been queen! I don't... If it's a majority no... vote... Is it a vote? Is it well, a vote? Yeah, it's a vote. Well, I don't because, because that, they then. had to have the whole play, who claimed the um, right to the to the throne. Yeah. And then he went up like, oh no, we can't have a we can't have a queen, and then yeah, we can't have a queen, and oh no, we won't have a queen, but this dude's still here. But it did look like they had to have the majority vote for them. Maybe, but then why did they? Run? I suppose because they knew they were gonna get killed by him. So I guess they just cut the losses. Yeah, but they still seem to have a very large amount of followers. Yeah. I mean, even if the ships weren't man-packed with people, you still need a good amount... They were big ships. You needed a good amount to crew each yeah, one. Yeah, you need a good amount of crew. Maybe, though, um, there was only a few ships that actually controlled. The rest of them were just, like, fishing boats. But it looked like they were uh, all going off together. Or they just pulled them off with each other. They just hooked them up. So, where are they going? Uh, maybe they're taking his plan. I hope they are. I hope they've nicked his plan. I hope they go to Daenerys and they're like, dude, we've got ships, let's fucking go. We've got ships, we hate Westworld, you hate Westworld, you have dragons. That's all. That's wrong. <laughs> you know. Um, My but, brother's here, Dick Luth. Just marry in yeah. and we're good. Yeah, I mean, I mean they, they need to... Because I was very surprised that um, in this episode you see your bloody little finger with Sansa. Like, oh, he, yeah, he, yeah. He, he got there quickly, didn't he? He gets around very quickly, doesn't yeah. he? You're, you're the person. The thing is, what's his agenda? That's what I want to know. Is what's his agenda? Obviously, besides probably controlling the Eyrie and all their forces. Well, I, I, his agenda is probably still like most people's the Iron Throne of some kind, or at least control over the person on the Iron Throne. Yeah, I think the Iron Throne has become very irrelevant. So. Yeah, it really has. <laughs> we didn't see any King's Landing this episode. Uh, no, I, no, I, no, said, I said last no, episode. No, but they're, they're, they're saving it. They're saving it for the. Um, this walk of shame thing, isn't, aren't they? Yeah, so exactly. They're and that, that's going to take up the, mon- uh, the majority of a an episode, so either next episode probably, probably or... Probably next. It'll be next. Hopefully next episode. We'll, yeah. s- we'll see the uh, uh, promo video soon, I guess. You know, we've got um, Jon Snow making up his army to attack the Boltons. Yeah, but is Littlefinger telling the truth with them I'd taking the... Uh... He's always got some kind of agenda... But I believe he is telling the truth. Because I, I think that his plan was to get Sansa to yeah. trust him. I mean, it, it kind of like failed at the moment. But his plan was somehow to take the North using Sansa. Yeah, because she was a Stark. So yeah. it makes sense. She was going to marry, probably marry her and then he'll be Lord of Winterfell. And... Very well, elaborate plan. He, even if he wasn't actually the Lord, if he got... Because he's got Robin... Listening to it like every single word, hasn't he? So while he's not technically the Lord of the Vale, yeah. he still has the most power that near enough, or in control of the power. Yeah. So, um, 
Yeah, so that's that going to happen, I guess, at some point. Yeah. I'm guessing he's going to get all the houses together that he has, and it's going to be the Bastard and Bastard action. That'll be the final <laughs> episode, probably. Um, yeah, probably. Most likely. Uh, what other characters did we see? We saw Arya get another ship. Oh, Arya. Ar- Ar- Arya's story is very slow. She's like the slow one in this episode. In this yeah, series. I mean, but Arya was good in like the um, first few seasons. She had an interesting story line because um, she was with the Hound, doing some fun stuff, and and now it's just I want to be. I am no one. You're not ready. They do say you're no one. one, but you don't tell people that you're yeah. no one. The girl can't say she's someone. It's like we know we know all this shit before. Yeah. It's just I, it, 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 it seems like it's repeating. Like you're not ready. Do this. You're still not ready. Do this. And, um, and so she saw a nice little play of what happened in Westeros, which, which I would quite happily see the entire. I would see the seasons. entire entire. Uh, once you have finished Game of Thrones, do the entire seven, eight, however many seasons. Just do it all in that play style, and I will watch it. It's funny. It's so funny. It's so bad, and it's actually slightly good. It's just interesting to see how people looking from the outside to everything that's happening in Westworld is actually going on. Yeah, just the common people yeah. who aren't involved with the higher tier, higher echelon people that we see. So, yeah. Oh, um... Oh yeah, Brienne's, Brienne's uh, getting sent off to... Uh, oh yeah, he's getting sent off to River? River. Yeah, River. River. To um, get the... Not River Run and Skyrim, though. No, no. Not that River Run. That would be quite cool if you bring back the Dragonborn. <laughs> I heard you had dragons. Yeah, I hope you had the Dragonborn. <laughs> Who's this guy? Force the door! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does that a lot. <laughs> we don't know what he's doing. <laughs> oh. I'm the mother dragon. Bitch, please. <laughs> my arm is made of dragons. <laughs> but like, yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool if that... I mean, yeah, Skyrim was basically the north and all that. Well, well the, yeah, Skyrim said it's all about the north and everything, so... But, anyway. Um, what else did we see in this episode? We... Uh, we saw a bit of Tyrion and... Oh, uh, Dickless Borsless talking to Lady Delight, another Lady Delight. Head priestess or whatever they're called. Yeah, priestesses. And, High um, priestesses or whatever. And apparently, what's his name? Bold dude with Varys. Varys. He. We heard that uh, when his dick got thrown into the fire, a voice called out to him. We've we've heard that before. We've heard that several times before. Yeah. Um, he called and a voice answered. Um, but yeah, we don't. He says, "What do I need to tell you?" What he said. And he's like, he just stood there frozen. So we don't yeah. know what he said. And that's of course he. He's probably like, ah, oh, but maybe the voice that he said is the person that's going to win. Like, he's going to win the Game of Thrones, if you get me. I, I like, the person, the, the character's name that... I'm thinking of, like, more further because he was like, how can this woman know no, this? Because she's been told. Yeah. But the thing Ooh, is, the, Lord of Light. the thing is, the Lord of Light is Bran, all right? It's no, Bran. he's not. It's Bran. Bran. No, Bran is not Lord of Light. He's all the gods. <laughs> he's just Bran sat in the tree, like, uh, yeah, drown people. Um, what what should we make you do, guy, this time? Oh, boats! We man, know. man is the money face god who went back in time to teach the first people how to use the brand's base. Future brand's Bran been busy. Brand god. Brand's been busy. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the many face god because there's so many versions of brand. Yeah, each one fucking up slightly less until <laughs> they get to the point. <laughs> oh dear. Oh uh, yeah, the Lord of Light is Bran. He's just in the fire, like he's he's like literally go. He's like stood behind the fire, like. <laughs> so, which one are you? I'm the one that went for the dragon boot. Didn't go too well. <laughs> yeah, it's like spoiler alert: the dragons uh, rebel and kill everyone. All oh, right, we don't do that this time. Apparently, they thought they were better than humans. Who do? <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna realize, like, what? Why are you telling me what to yeah. do? I'm a fucking dragon. I'm massive. <laughs> I mean, she's okay. He gave birth to it, but other than that, but and then the other guy's just like, but did she? She doesn't. Lay eggs? We have you, have eggs. you ever seen her lay an egg? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lie! <laughs> Liar! <laughs> and then the birds. You're not my mother. <laughs> It'd be so good. If the, uh, the dragons probably will maybe speak in the end. No, no. No, nah, they won't. No. But it'd be cool. But no, no, basically, it's just Bran. He, like, you see all these scenes with Bran in, and he's like behind the fire, the flames, and yeah. he's his penis thrown in. He's just like. Stannis. 
try different names. <laughs> or like, that's why, that one why. That's why Melisandre thought it was Stannis, and the other one thought it was, it was that brand. Because that they're brand seen, they're seen different brands. You see, they keep seeing different brands. The brand's like, well, like, Stannis didn't work. And it's like, no, who's next? Daenerys. Let, let's give John. John, John seem to go. Let's give John a go. Just bring him back to life for me, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he died, didn't he? And they thought, I know. <laughs> and then just went back and, like, uh, burn the child. Yeah, Lily John. Was, it's not John. John is Bran walking into John. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, why not? You will find out soon. We'll find out sooner or later what's going on. But I just really, really want it to be Bran within Bran. <laughs> Bran, <laughs> Bran, 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 Bran. Other Bran. Future Bran. It's Bran on the path of future. Oh, days of future Bran. <laughs> <laughs> is, the, is the past truly set? <laughs> yeah, you get what I mean. Oh, no, it's good episode. Oh, um, oh sorry, yeah, we, uh, we found that the children of the forest, well, the children of the forest are now extinct. Oh, uh, yeah, well, um, well, they were going extinct, kind they of. They were nearly extinct. <laughs> They've now they been uh, zombified. Or can they be zombified? Maybe not. I don't the know. Rotten, I, I, they can go rotten wood. Sure, okay. But yeah, the white walkers were <laughs> rotten wood. <laughs> they can go rotten. It's fine. But they're, so they're basically extinct. They're short, they are extinct now. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. There's only a few of them left anyway, weren't there? And they're probably all around about the tree, and then Bran went... See, right, this is the other bit about Bran time travel that I didn't get. So, when he went and touched the tree, and he saw the zombies, and he saw the Night King, was that present day, or was that past? I would say past, because it got there pretty damn quickly. Yeah, but that's the thing. Do, is it... Does it cause the, if, if the door swings I... both ways, does that mean that when Bran... When he was there and he saw him and touched him, does that mean he altered the past, which means the Night King, maybe if it's like a week ago, two weeks ago, how far he went back in time, that means the Night King's already there, because he knows. By the Night events. King touching Bran, I reckon he worked out where he was. But he... If he and, and, past, and, and by Bran going... Cause we see everything the Bran's done has been going into the past, hasn't he? Yeah. The tree. Well, it has to, as far as we know, that's how it works. Yeah, so I'm, my guess is he went to where the Night King was at the end of season five. Six, five. Yeah, it wasn't really explicitly Because he had a massive army of zombies, which could have been from the village, which he rose from the dead. I reckon yeah. Bran went to a point just after that, which would then give them enough time to get to the um, tree. Yeah, that's we where don't I know reckon where it. he is in relation to everything. But what I want to know... Because they're still in is beyond the wall at that point. It's Bran beyond the wall. Yeah, yeah, it's way beyond, beyond the wall. Bran, he's, he's nearly at uh, France. <laughs> <laughs> French drinks. <laughs> I'm never going to let that go. He's nearly hit Scotland, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's Wales. He's nearly hit. <laughs> What's it, Grim like Grimsby or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> he's nearly at Grimsby. Um, but... So yeah, I, I reckon that would give him enough time to raise his army and get to the, um... The tree, Maybe. But... I'm not quite sure. Because we don't, know how, we don't fully understand how the tree thing works. No, we don't. But it's not really been but explained, but... If he touches him and it appears on his skin... Because, well, the White Walkers were created by the tree That's people. the thing. That guy was... Sh had a human was shoved uh, some sort of... It looked like a... Knife tree? Knife tree? Jaggy thing? Just dubbed into him and it, like, his face started going white, so we can presume he got turned into a white walker, but we don't see the full transformation. But we, can presume we don't know why they turned against tree people for obvi no. obvious reasons. I mean, they created them to fight the humans who were killing them. That's the point though, they never said they could control them. They yeah. made a weapon to fight yeah. the humans. So it doesn't mean that they'll be friendly towards the tree people just because they created them. So they they basically just created a loose cannon and set him on the humans. Which yeah. The humans did win, kind of. evidently. Kind and then of. Somehow, we don't know, do we? Or well, do, no, we no, know? No. do we know? Well, the humans won. Did they? Yeah. Of course they won. The whole yeah, but kingdom of Earth. Oh, oh I suppose. And the, the, great, the Great Wall was made to oh, keep yeah, them back. True, true, true. But then we don't. But we never saw it. We don't know what happened. Well, what we, else could have happened? We know they won. Okay, well, fine. Well, they won. Well, they've got to have won at least, repelled them enough. To uh, become myths and legends. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess so. But 
I'm, I'm, ge- I'm guessing with the help of dragons and uh, dragon glass and Valerian steel. Yeah, stuff that we probably do we know d- about if we read the book, so we know more about the backstory, but I don't yeah. think we know that but much does, about he, it. But does he just go in from the TV ancient, show, then we should have history. all of enough information from the TV show. But no. it's, not, it's, not, it's ancient history, though, isn't it? Yeah. But that would mean... I'd still love to know how, how they created the white the uh, wall. I reckon we need to see that. Do you reckon they just uh, got the water from the thing and you have to put the leg out of the leg out of the leg out of the leg out of I don't know actually, that's a good, I don't, I wouldn't know how they'd make, because no. the wall spans throughout the, 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 stretch, the entire stretch of the yeah. con- country, which I don't know how many miles that is, but it's not, not like 10 miles. I mean, I honestly don't want to show you the name, um, it's like the bottleneck. It's a bottleneck. Yeah, it? they, they wouldn't go around the finish point. But the, really the thing is, this is that's the known world. What's beyond, what, what what happens if you keep going? What's out there? Well, no, no, there's, there's a set limit beyond the wall. Yeah, but it's the known world, isn't it? There's there's more to it, the world, than what they well, know. Well, you've got the um, Kingdom of Westeros, which is like one small island yeah. with uh, the wall, and then the it's like north. a bo- it's like a bottleneck, isn't it? And it goes off into the expanse of the north, the, beyond the wall. Yeah, but they've shown like pictures of Westeros, and it's basically England turned upside down with yeah, um, true. island stuff on the top, or okay, something like that. Fair, yeah, fair enough then. So it, it is all one island with um, the White Walkers being stuck at the top. Okay, fair enough then. I thought it just went on and on forever, and no one knows because reasons. Yeah. But I don't know. Um, I had to study some of the cartography, but I just I don't know like how it works, like because he saw him, so he must have some. He has a physical presence. That's why. Uh, Ned heard him in the past at the Tower of Joy, uh, but the White Walker he saw him. Doesn't have a. But is that because he? Is that because the White Walker? I think was the White Walker stabbed by the tree thing, the tree people. Because so the an White Walker to it. was created by the tree people, so he had some sort of connection to it, so which allows him even. to, which allowed him to know. That someone li- was literally like, tree. I see you. Yeah. So, so whether <laughs> or, whether or not he actually saw him or just sensed him, and then when he touched him, he then got. He, he then got a physical connection to him. Maybe. Because we've never actually seen Bran try to interact with anything while... Because we've seen like walk down the stairs and everything, so he had some sort of physical, physical presence. presence. He's not like a ghost or like a... Um, He's a projection. Spirit, just like floating around. He's physically there. He's a projection of... Unless, of course, that's just for production reasons, because they'll come just floating around all the time. <laughs> Maybe. But it, it could be that he's just, he's just actually a projection. Yeah. But he has some physical presence. Let's go back to the Hodor yeah. thing, like how yeah. that happened. But I'm sure it'll get explained. But Bran's gonna wake up pretty pissed. Yeah, Hodor's dead. Someone's dead. Someone's dead. His mentor, who he didn't listen to, is dead. <laughs> and Leaf is gone. Leaf has wi- withered away. She's now a zombie. No, she she, she blew up. She blew herself. She's, she's, she's on fire. fire. She's like burnt to a crisp. But but does that she's mean we're gonna see zombies somewhere? Hmm? Zombies somewhere. No. Cool, but no. Also, I want to know, where's Benjamin? What's Benjamin doing? <laughs> God knows. Is he ever going to come back? No, he's dead. He's gone. Is I he, don't though? We'll we never find out, do we? He could not be dead. But what is he? He was, he was like, what? Lead Ranger, wasn't he? Like? Yeah, he went, on that, he went on that Ranger and never came back. Yeah. But that would mean that he's still somewhere, because if he's not been shown dead, doesn't mean he's dead. Sure. No, he's just missing an action. Maybe yeah, he's going to come back at the White Walker. Stannis Walk. died. But then... Brit- well, no, Brit- Brit- we had confirmed that she killed him. Whether she's not shown on screen death, I don't understand. Like that doesn't that boggles my mind. Unless, of course, they shot it, and then he went off to go film. Um, Maybe they had planned the to bring him back or not. That's the thing. And by, and by not showing it, they left it open for season six. <laughs> it, it also shows that mm. because like we showed John died, but then John came back to life anyway. Mm. But it, it, lead, it I reckon it just so it left them with options afterwards for the next season. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that's about it, really, for this episode. Yeah, it? it's a uh, it's an interesting episode. It, it opens up it asks many different questions. possibilities, and it leaves a lot of questions. Yeah, it does leave a lot of questions. So, it, which it hopefully will be explained. Oh, and um, Jorah has been sent on an impossible quest. Oh, God, <laughs> <laughs> like, she puts on the crocodile tears. <laughs> oh, what? You're a side drug. I go find a cure. <laughs> I cannot banish you, and I cannot keep you with me. Half this impossible quest. Yeah, half this impossible quest you'll probably die on. She's literally like, he's so gullible. <laughs> She's flying away. And he's like, I will go find a Khaleesi. I will return. When he returns to him, she's like, fuck, he found a cure. Oh, yeah. 
No, he's a, no, he's a goner. Yeah. You're, you're never going to see him again. It's like Benjamin all over again. <laughs> but we won't care about him. Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, we'll see what happens next episode, I guess. Yeah, uh, might be the walk of shame. Here's hoping. I'm hoping. Yeah. Well, we'll see the promo soon. Yeah, very good. We'll see the promo, so we'll know. But uh, predictions, quickly, quick predictions. Well, I know your happen. prediction is uh, brand, brand all the way. It's the brand brand. The brand brand all the way, or brand. Brand flake. Uh, what was the other thing I came up with? <laughs> brand flake. No, there's another thing. What other thing? No, there's another When we were watching the episode, it was something. Oh, well, I'll think of it later, but yeah, but it was something to do with Bran, it was some breakfast, it wasn't no, I still had my theories of the tree, pe- of the uh, trees rising up, because the trees seemed important. I mean, the, the, oh, no, the, there was a race of tree people. Something had to, had to happen with the um, trees with the faces on. Something had to happen with them. Whether they're not in the past or the present. But Usually that, ants, I know. Ants, ants were great. Where's but the orcs though? Where's the orcs? Where are they getting? Every, everything's just gonna. They're gonna come over by a ship. Well, well, you've got Westeros. <laughs> you've got bloody um, whatever the land over the narrow sea. You've got the rest Essos. of the world. The place that Daenerys is. Yeah, Essos. Yeah. See the Essos, isn't it? What the Essos? Is it all right? Then you've got the rest of the world where anything could be, which is um, always intriguing. So they could always just bring in anything else. Orcs, elves. Goblins, really? Chaos Space Marines. It depends how Lord of the Rings he really wants to go. The Eagles have come! <laughs> oh, fuck that. <laughs> what are those things? They look like giant eagles. <laughs> Just killing the dragons <laughs> and killing everything. The is, White Walkers. Is that a wizard? With a... With a short person? <laughs> Cast it into a fire <laughs> from them! <laughs> it's in the distance. I've never seen that mountain before. <laughs> What's that? But... Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, you know, that's where the right. So this is what happens now. Like, you know, the end of Lord of the Rings, where they go off to go to the Undying Lands. Yeah. Where do I have the Undying? <laughs> the elves show up on the shore, and there's like what the fuck? Burning stuff and like ice people and like, zombies, and they're just like oh, we leave strange. for five centuries, and this happens. <laughs> We're gone for only five hundred thousand years, and look what happens. It's overrun by a load of weird people. Seriously, Bob. The fuck. <laughs> the fuck. And then just like the elves are just like, well, let's get to it. <laughs> that would be awesome if they tied <laughs> Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones together. That would be just crazy. <laughs> Another. We come fact. from a place called Middle Earth. <laughs> Over that way. No, no, I can. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to. We're not going to go no, down that road at all. But anyway, we're hoping that the possibilities have opened up, though. The, with the whole time travel thing, it's opened yeah. up ma- massively, especially. More complications, more drama, more confusing shit. That's the problem. I'm hoping it doesn't get so confusing that it pisses me off. <laughs> well, we're going to A chapter, get out of the end going, but what? But, but what? No, because but what? the thing is with time travel, even if, it is, if it's not exactly time travel. You can't understand time travel, thank you, so. It has to be done right. Yeah. And when things aren't done right and they're not careful, it's stupid. You just end up with paradox and shit and... And paradox has pissed me off. <laughs> we had this with Terminator Genesis. No, that, that was just a fucking... That it, was... These files were deleted. Yeah, because you don't know how it's actually going to happen. God. <laughs> anyway, we'll cut that short because it's going to keep going on. It's, yeah. This, this, this episode is going to be the longest one. I mean, anyway. I'm just looking at the Lord now. I'm like, we need to watch Lord of the Rings just to see how they can connect. <laughs> we're not going down that hole. <laughs> anyway... So we'll see next episode what happens and how oh, yeah. Bran... There's probably going to be no Bran next episode. It's all going to be fucking Jimmy Lannister folks. No, no, it's going to be Bran running through the snow. We'll get him dragged through the snow with a woman. And that'll be it. Where's Summer? Where's Summer? Summer's oh. dead. Where's Hodor? Hodor's dead. Is it only me and you left? Yeah. <laughs> well then, but it's going to repopulate Yeah. going to repopulate the human race. <laughs> that Bad right? news is, because of my paralyzation, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, right, we're ending it there. Yeah, we're there. we've got, we've got, <laughs> we've got, to, we've got to cut it there. Right, shit's going down. Shit's going down. Thanks for watching, guys. Obviously, I remember, it's always been Brand. It's always been Brand's fault. But we'll see you next time. Brand does fuck everything. Yeah, he probably, he, he's the cause of everything, that's it. Brand is the fuck up. He is. Anyway, oh, see you next time.